Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a Shein haul. Obviously, as you guys saw from the title of today's video, I am so excited. I haven't done a haul video in so long, and recently Shein has become one of my most favorite places to shop ever because Shein is so affordable and absolutely amazing. I don't know what happened in the past couple of years, but the past year I've been getting back into Shein because I see stuff on TikTok and I'm like, wait, this stuff is so cute. Like the shirt I'm wearing right now is from Shein, and I think it was like maybe $9. So since it is November, obviously you guys know what that means. Black Friday sale, which is Shein's biggest sale of the year. You guys can get up to literally 85% off this season's latest trends from November 18th through the 25th. Also something that is literally so exciting, Shein finally announced their little pet line, which is called Pets In, you know, she in, she in, pets in, you get it? You get it. They have a bunch of adorable stuff that's also affordable, comfortable, and just so cute. I have to show you. So this haul is going to be half, you know, cute things that I bought for me and then half things that I bought for Little Miss Winnie. Okay, so check this one out. On top of the Black Friday sale, you guys can also use my code Ashley15 on top of the already discounted stuff. So this is going to be basically given to you guys for free and it's all amazing. Also, Shein does offer free returns 45 days within ordering and free standard shipping on all orders over $49. As as always, I will be linking all the products below in the description for you guys. So with all of that being said, let's just get right into the video. Let's get into the haul because I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of stuff next to me. Let's just get into the shirts. I'm gonna hold them up. They're on hangers because I tried them on for the try on portion of this video and I hung them up immediately because I want to start wearing these because they're so cute. This first top is the cutest thing I've ever seen. When I opened the package, I was like, wait, what is this again? And then when I put it on my body, I was like, wait, this is so cute. It ties around the neck, ties around your waist. Wearing this out to literally anywhere. You can wear this to dinner with a jacket on top or just to the club with some black leather pants on or like a black leather skirt, black skirt in general with some like little like knee high boots. Oh my God. Need I say more? Absolutely not. This next top, this is definitely one of the little sluttier club tops for sure. Sure. I would definitely pair this with some of those hand gloves, which I did get quite a few of those. In this haul, I would pair this with like cargo pants, which you'll definitely see in this clothing haul, or just black leather pants and just be a little, little hoe. I love little ripped up stuff, like tops like those. I try to make them, but it's just impossible. Like just maybe buy them from Shein for like a couple dollars, you know? This next top is so cute. Okay, so honestly, I'm going with all like my little like black little like club tops first because I'd be going out. You know, LA, I'm 20 something. So I be going out to the clubs now, you know? My friends started dragging me into the streets. I just got lost in them, to be honest. So this is gonna be another one of those tops. Just cute black. It has like a little extra layer of mesh on top of the actual little like bralette situation we got going on there. Compare that with absolutely everything. Put a little jacket on top. You could pair it with this puffer. I'm not supposed to say any other brands in this but it's giving let's just say Kim Kardashian has worn a puffer that looked just like this and I've been thinking about it for like four four years ever since I saw her at some fashion show wearing this while Northy was singing into the mic. If you feel me, you feel me, but this puffer is so flattering. I think I'm going to wear it tonight. I'm gonna wear it tonight to the club if it's cold outside. I love that it's getting a little bit cold outside. I need to get a jacket. I definitely should have got more jackets, but I'm so happy I got this puffer. It's like a grayish chocolate somewhere in between, which I just love. It's like a muted brown, you know? It's not like brown brown. It's like grayed out brown. Me at the club. I'm not black I'm like grayed out brown. <laughs> Anyways, Jesus, Ashley, get a grab. All right, now we have this top that looks like absolutely nothing. Um, But I mean, do I even need to mention it? It's a titty top with a butterfly between your titties. I'm feeling like Mariah Carey. I love this. I love this, how it ties everywhere. I've always been the type of bitch that wants like so many crisscrossy things going on in my stomach just to take away from like, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel weird showing my stomach, even though my stomach is always showing, but I love having crisscrossy things to kind of distract from like, oh, there's her belly button. You know what I mean? So this is why I like that top. Very good for going out for sure. <laughs> wow. Okay. So did I just get going out tops? It kind of looks like that. Anyways, this next top is a, I would say dark chocolate brown color. 
I just love how one of the sleeves crosses over in the front to the other side. I just love anything that's like asymmetrical. And then it has little ties at the bottom, which kind of really just, it's giving like Padme from Star Wars or Princess Leia. I love anything that makes me look like I'm literally out of like Star Wars episode literally one and or three, honestly. I just love how it's like strappy and just cool and like almost just like, just like desert girl. I don't know, I love it. It almost just like looks like you like tied the whole sleeve on pretty much. Next to things that aren't just completely black, but let's give a round of applause for the top that I'm wearing right now. I pulled it down just now to have a little bit more cleavage. I didn't really like understand yet when I was doing the try on haul, but like this is the cutest top in the world. It comes with the sleeves that you can have like covering half your hand if you want to feel like, you know, a dainty little girl, or, like a little Ariana Grande moment. Very like 90s. This with like cargo pants, a cargo skirt. I know the weather's getting cold, but imagine a cargo skirt. You hear me out with some little loafers and then like those like scrunchy like big socks or leg warmers is what I literally meant to say. I'm just saying it's giving very Y2K, big glasses, little purse. You get the vibe. I'm getting the vibe. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. I love it. Or you can obviously wear this to the club. I might try to tonight. I don't know. This next top is a little brown little top. It's giving like very much Alexis Wren. If you know, you know, just very like dainty little like beachy girl boho. Like I would do some like braids in my hair wearing this cargo pants, some sneakers, or of course dress this up to go to the club with like a little skirt and some little like cute heels and like a big like open jacket. Absolutely cute. I love how it's like backless almost. You know, business in the front, party in the back. I did also get it in white. I would say on accident, but it was fully on purpose because I just knew I was going to love this top. So cute. This is obviously giving a lot more like daytime y, just princess girl. I'm wearing this to the beach. I'm wearing this to the beach with a cute little denim skirt. Oh, I know it's winter. I don't care because I'll also be wearing this to the club. Mark my words. A hoe never gets cold, okay? Except for when she gets the flu for a month or two. I literally was sick for like two months. Okay, next up in brown pieces, this little brown corset bodice if you will the best thing about this is i mean obviously the structure it fit like a glove i was a little sussed out not gonna lie i was like mm, i don't know how this isn't gonna fit um because the back isn't adjustable but it's stretchy so i was like okay let's see i put this on and i was like oh my good god this is like the cutest top ever i cannot wait to wear this out and the fact that it has these little like things at the bottom i don't i'm not good with the vocab but these little strings at the bottom just look so cute imagine on top of cargo pants i'm just like hanging down Oh my god, so cute. Or the cargo skirt, which is what I paired it with. Let me just bring out the cargo skirt. Round of applause for the cargo skirts. I know we're getting into fall and winter, but like, okay, cargo skirts are like just now, not just now, but like I'm a little late on the trend. Once fall started coming around, everyone's like, oh, cargo skirt, cargo skirt. I didn't get one until just now. So you know what? I'm gonna be wearing my cargo skirt with my cute little tops with some boots and some leg warmers, okay? Another thing that I've been noticing, do you guys remember like the bad baby trend where she would just wear like cropped hoodies that would crop above her boobs and then like just sleeves i've seen a lot of these little crochet tops coming around either this on top of a bathing suit this on top of one of those little corset tops or just a regular tank top a bralette a sports bra the list goes on and on but it really just adds to your outfit and makes it so cute all right now moving on with my favorite color one of my favorite colors um this is like it's giving like a little bluish but it's like a gray asymmetrical top. I honestly wish I did get this in a bigger size. Also, mind you, pretty much everything I got was in like a small or extra small. And I should have got it a little bit looser because I would have liked it to be a little bit more baggy and almost look like this on me. But I'm still going to wear it where? To the club or to the bar. I say clubs, but I really just be going to bars and like hanging out with my friends and like looking cute at nighttime. This was giving very much Kardashian as well. That's why I reached for it. I was like, oh, I know Kimberly has worn something like that before. This next top, I definitely ordered, I mean, like, when you look at it, it's giving, it's giving mummy, you know? It's giving punk rock mummy. Courtney would wear this around Travis because it's giving grunge. This with, like, a little black skirt or, like, a little schoolgirl skirt. This little halter top does come with the little sleeveys. I'm actually stupid, and I ordered sleeves from the website that were matching this because I didn't know that this came together, so there's that. It's giving spooky, but, like, I really don't care. I think it's just giving grungy emo. I love it. I think I'm like slowly getting back into my emo cool girl phase a little bit. I don't know. Maybe it's just like mean girl. Maybe I'm angry lately. Actually, no, I've been pretty happy. Okay. Um, I'm not supposed to mention what this reminds me of, but 
You guys have seen me wore a black bodysuit in one of my recent videos, and I could not stop raving about it, but it is very expensive, mind you. This is so affordable, and it's the same exact thing. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'm just saying, oh my god, I'm getting one in every single color before I post this video so that they don't get sold out beforehand. Because this is such a nice material. It's like the same, like, what do you even call it? Like spandexy swimsuit type material, you know? So it does have like the little snaps at, you know, in the underwear region, and it does have little like cheeky bottoms. So good to wear with a lot of pieces. I love this. I'm getting one in every color before you guys buy them all. So the last top that I got, I'm sure you guys have seen like the little pajama, but like dressy pajama thing. Like people were wearing like silk pajamas out to like nice dinners with like, you know, like nice heels on and whatnot. So I liked this. It's not just a silk beautiful top, which I also need to iron it. Sorry, I didn't want to, okay? I just really didn't want to. But the material is outstanding, if you ask me. And then look at the little sleeves. It's not like just any regular little like, oh, silk top. It has the fluffy sleeves. So you're elevating it. And then you know what you elevate it with? Matching heels. Don't even get me started. The matching heels, bitch. Are you kidding? If you tuck that top into like a little mini skirt or even to some black leather pants with these little shoesies. Look at them. They're like satiny, silky, absolutely stunning. Like, look at the shape of them. Obviously, you could lace all the way up your legs or you could just do like a little tie around moment at the back of your ankle. You see what I'm saying? I know that was a horrible way of showing you, but this is this is how it is. I didn't shave my legs when I was doing the try on portion, so I couldn't really film all the shoes, let's just say, okay? But these little black pumps with the fur. Get over yourself. Oh my God. I can't get over those shoes. Never. Okay, moving on to the last two clothing items that are like clothing clothing. Okay, so I was very confused. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie at all. When I opened up these pants and they, like I wonder if I can even show you how tall these pants are. Honestly, I'm gonna put my leg down. I'm gonna put my foot down at a slant. It, they like go up to my head, okay? I was very confused. I was like, what pants did I order? But then I realized that they're little scrunchy pants. And when you put them on, you can like scrunch them at the bottom or you can scrunch them throughout your whole leg. And it looks so cute. Not only that, but the fit of it, I was like, you know what? Because I like black leather pants so much, I do need some more of them. So I'm gonna order some from Shein and see what the real tea is. And oh my God, I've been wasting my money everywhere else. I'm just saying like, I love these, like these are gonna be my new favorite pants and also the next pair. So I was like, we'll get one wrinkly or like crumply. And then we just have another black pair flare once again i can't get away from the flare ever since flare came back i said amen because that looks better on my hot dog body type so um i got a little black pair this one fits perfectly on me i'm five six i feel like if they were longer that'd be cool if they were shorter maybe not so cool so just keep that in mind if you're taller maybe get the other ones and then scrunch them i am awful at saying so cute all the time but they're so cute Sorry. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Okay, last couple of fashion things. We have some purses. One of the bad things about me is that I have some designer things. You know, I definitely have my fair share of designer. That last pretty much like a week until they look so ruined. So I love getting some good affordable bags, you know, because regardless, I'm at the club just like... You know what I mean? So I don't like to have too many designer things and my shoes don't even get me started with my shoes. There's like cranberry sauce on like 10 pairs of all of my nice shoes. Um, Like why, why are you wearing your expensive shoes to the bar where people are gonna get drunk and spill on you, Ashley? I don't know, but yeah. Anyways, so I have, I got this little purse. I'm sure you've seen some that looks similar to this, but like, just imagine you're blacked out at the bar. You're not even realizing you're like, oh my God, she has like one of those like designer purses, uh, but it's like not, but like, you don't know because you can hardly see how many fingers I'm holding up right now. And like, also, who cares? It's so cute. It comes with a little pocket. has a cute little like butterfly charm. This is where you keep the fun stuff. I'm totally kidding, but it's a funny joke, whatever. Great size purse. Honestly, might wear this tonight. Slay. This one really caught my eye. This is just so chic, if you will. Is that the right word? Because I think it's, it's giving chic. It's giving like really cool glasses, blazer with like some type of like nice little pant and then like a little booby top with like this. Like, oh yeah. 
yeah, I'm like wearing my blazer and this is like my nice, you know, work bag, if you will, almost, not work, but like sophisticated. Black leather little baggy, zips all the way around. I have it stuffed right now, so it looks like cute, but love her. Like people are gonna be like, oh my God, where'd you get that? It looks like it would literally be like hundreds of dollars and it's not at all, so slay. Also wanted to get just a little, another like sparkly little bag. This one's also stuffed right now, so it's like, you know, but like look at how cute this is, are you kidding? I, I love anything sparkly, honestly. Look I'm a sucker, but I need to like chill out. Anything sparkly and like pink, I like die over. So next we have these ones I didn't try on because like I said, you know, the whole, I didn't shave my legs today. First of all, PSA, we, we're wearing pointed shoes this season. I don't want to see anything round unless, you know, it fits the vibe check. So anyways, pointed black toe, you know, we love a little sparkly moment. We love a little sparkly moment, but hear me out. Look at the heel. Can we focus on the heel? The heel is bedazzled all the way around even on the inside girl and then obviously the laces are also bedazzled all the way up so wearing this with the cute dress Oh, bitch. This is gonna be the perfect shoe. Insane. This is so gorgeous. I can't. Oh, bitch. A little black dress with this and this. Apparently, I'm wearing everything tonight. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. But it's like, Ashley, it's like a random Friday. Like, I have nothing to actually, like, go to tonight. That's a lie. I have so many things. I just got invited to so many parties. VIP. Anyways. Any hoozy, should I say. But the next ones. Same thing. I was like, okay, but what if I'm in the same situation as, you know, the black shoe that I just showed you but black's not fitting it i'm wearing like a white outfit i'm wearing a little white dress and i want just like something sparkly at my leg the nude one bitch pointy toe also sparkles all the way up the leg absolutely so fucking stunning these are gonna get gonna come handy i mean i don't know about you guys but i'm pretty much wearing heels every single night if i'm going out if i'm going out i'm wearing heels like it's very rare you catch me in a sneaker second to last on the shoes i just saw these and i died i don't know what i'm gonna need these for but this is when i'm being like girly girly little date night fluffy little dress with these cute little white pumps that have pearls on the little ankle are you kidding it's giving chanel it's giving rich it's giving designer it's giving cunt it's giving little tiny glasses it's giving audrey hepburn and i don't care what you have to say about it i don't think i need to say anything about it okay i just had to go grab the last pair of shoes which i saw these and immediately was like add a bag i don't care add, add to bag i've seen some shoes that look like this going around the town you know the ones the ones that fold over they have the buckle that looks like this so cute. They don't actually come in pink, but they came in pink on Shein. And I like these are just so cunt. And when I tell you, these are the comfiest shoes I've ever put on my body. I didn't want to take them off. I was like, oh, I love the pink. I love the buckle. I love the style, the fit. Perfect. I'm a size eight, ordered an eight. When they say it fit like a glove, now I understand like this fit my foot like the perfect little glove. I can't wait to post it all pink and like white bubblegum girly little freaking outfit. I would honestly wear these. I'm not gonna say where, honestly. It'll be a surprise, but I can't wait to wear those. Insane. I know they're obnoxious a little bit. Like they're fucking like hot bubblegum pink, but I don't care. Okay, so a thing that I just wanna get into is the hand gloves. So these are the ones that I ordered, which honestly, I'm kind of happy that I ordered these because I can pair this with any gray top or black top or whatever I literally want. And they also have the finger hole. Now, a lot of, you know, things that have like the sleeves, I honestly just cut a slit and stick my finger through it. Like I make my own finger hole because I just think it's just like, it just, it just makes more sense to me. Like my finger should be coming out of this top, but whatever. So these sleeves actually do have a little finger hole. It's just like a way to add a little oomph to any outfit. I got them in this little knit sweat type material for one if you're a girl and you want to wear like a cute little top out and you don't want to wear a jacket because you want everyone to see like the whole top you can add like little sleeves that's what I've been doing lately just adding sleeves to any outfit so it's like you're still staying warm because obviously you know the weather is getting colder but not only are you keeping yourself warm but it's like just an extra little like decoration to your outfit if you will like obviously yes you can have like a plain like black one then there's also more decorative ones that are actually like just like accessories to your outfit like these ones aren't really going to keep you warm there's like this shiny pair that i got that just reminds me of like britney spears i don't know is it just, is it just me am i the only like hand glove girl also you never know when you are going on a trip so i did pick up this little three-piece set i didn't try it on because 
I didn't want to, but let's use your imagination. So we have the bottoms, little high-waisted, cute, cheeky bottoms, a little top. If you know, you know. If you have tits and you know and you're a girl, you'll understand. But it has like, it's not like a single string that goes up. It's like two on each side. So cute. And then it comes with my favorite. It comes with this little skirt. And then I think, I think this is like a little like scarf. So you can like literally like do like a little ponytail and then like tie it with this or you can make it like a little like headscarf. That's like a process to make it out. Okay, so that is it for all of my things that I got for myself, but let's get into the little pet in collection for Miss Winnie. Miss Winnie. Please have me, she just ate some food. Yes, you did, you're licking your lips, oh mommy. Did you know I love you? I'm gonna set you down. What do you wanna say right here? Getting into the pet in for Miss Winifer. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with the Christmas sweaters that I got her. Okay, so Miss Winnie only tried on a few of these sweaters because my dumbass ordered the wrong size because I have body dysmorphia for me and my dog apparently. I don't know. I ordered her a size small and I forget that she's long as hell. So some of these I couldn't try on, but first we have the Christmas sweater. Thank God this fit pretty good. It, obviously there are measurements for all of these. I'm just super impatient and I didn't want to measure my dog. If you guys know your dog's sizes, then you should be good. I'm just, I don't know how to estimate things at all. So this one was a little tight on her. I did try it on, but she didn't like it. So I took it off and I don't have a video for you. It was too snug on her. So I took it off, but this is so cute. It's little footsie pajamas. Are you kidding me with the hood? Get this for your dog if you have one or your cat. I don't care. You need to get it. Now I have my puppy, my like baby voice coming out because I love it. You know, when she's not wearing her Christmas sweater, she just wants a casual fit. It's a little cold outside. She's going to be wearing her little ho, ho, ho because she's a little ho, ho, ho. She always tries to hump me. <laughs> Moving on. I wish I got this one in the right size. I'm just going to order a new one before y'all literally sell them out. But look at this. Imagine Winnie has like a little Christmas tree. This is so cute, but it's too small. This one is also small, but it's so stretchy and like kind of like wide. So I was like, oh, this can fit on her. I had to get her one of these because if you know, you know, my, I think only merch that I've ever actually released. I've made a lot of merch mock-ups and never released them, but the only merch that I did release did have cherries on it. So I thought I had to get Vanessa a cherry tank top just in ode for the old me. I got her a couple of dog beds, not gonna lie. But I think the one that I'm most excited for is this one because you guys know I love my cherry blossoms So that being said I had to get her a little cherry blossom bed They have like a whole bunch of different sizes and I was gonna get like a mini one and a big one But I was like ah, I already have like too many beds But also this is pink and white and my gaming setup is pink and white and my gaming setup and my makeup desk are in the same room So it's just like kind of like pink and white in there So I think this is gonna be really cute in my glam room slash gaming room. It's gonna match perfect Perfectly, and she always lays down in like she has like a little shitty bed in there But this one is like so can you tell how fluffy this is? I was beyond impressed like the bed that I got from a different site was not cutting in It was more expensive than this. So that's insane And then I also got her this little pink blanket to go on top Which it literally matches perfect. I wasn't like really planning on that But this is the softest blanket quite literally ever like I would definitely give this to my baby if I had one when I have one <laughs> This is the softest blanket I've ever held it's also huge it's literally this big so i'm just gonna like lay this on her little cherry blossom thing and it's gonna be so cute unless i steal it first like seriously it's so nice i was not expecting that it's so plush like it's huge moving on we have two other dog beds i'm not gonna hold them up but i'll show you i needed one for let's just say my friend's house that i spend the night at often i needed a bed there so i got two different ones to see what would match that person's house better but uh both of the beds are so cute and fluffy. First one I got is this gray one, which she absolutely loves, but she also loves to play with it as a toy. It's so cute and she looks amazing in it and she loves it. And then we also have this like bluish gray slash white one, which is so plush and so comfy. I get her a lot of dog beds and she never actually lays in them, but these ones have just been all around my house since I opened up the package and she's just always laying in them and I'm so impressed. She actually loves them. Oh, Vanessa. 
win. I have a little dog right here. I do have one. All right, so you guys know, if you guys have watched me for a while, you, you guys know I love a good doggy car seat. So this one, I took it out so you guys can see it, but this is an insanely nice and plushy car seat. I am so shook. I had one similar to this, not from Shein. It was so janky, can I just say? I mean, not to bag on other people's brands and stuff, but this one is so nice and cozy. Already ships put together. The other one I had to like stuff like weird cardboard and stuff. I was like, what is this? But this is a nice deluxe car seat that actually keeps her strapped in safely. Like there's adjustable straps to strap in the top and the back of the seat. And then there's also, excuse me, do you want to get in the car seat? Then in the seat, once you strap it into the actual seat itself, in her little car seat, you clip this onto her, onto your like collar halter thing. And then it keeps her from jumping out the window so she can be fully strapped in. I can put the window down for her and I can adjust how far I want to like let her to the window. And then on top of everything, it has little pockets on the side to put all of our little doggy stuff. It's so cute. Like you put her in a car seat, you put her like leash over here and then you, you get out and you grab her little like dog bowl too. Speaking of car seat, doggy car seat. You guys need one. If you guys don't have one, get one. Keep your little doggy safe. Keep them strapped in. Speaking of keeping them safe and strapped in, if you don't get the whole car seat, they also have little doggy seat belt where you literally plug this into the seat belt of your car and then you clip them in. I got a stretchy one for some give and then just a pink one because you know it's girly, it's pink and then this one's more adjustable like oh no you you really can't get out of the window. These are literally only a couple dollars and um, they keep your dog safe. So if you don't have one of these and you take your dog in the car with you, get one of these. You're so weird. You're wearing a seatbelt but your dog's not. What if something happens, you know? So I got Winnie a couple toys. I think there was like specific ones for like anxiety and stuff. This one you can fill up with treats, put them in there and then they have to like try to get it out of the different holes and it like bounces around because of like all the different shapes and stuff. And then this one, dog toothbrush, an unremarkable dog toothbrush. The surface is made of a healthy nylon material that will not break and the inner is made of high toughness and soft TPR, which is suitable to medium and large dogs for a long time without being destroyed. Yada, 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 yada. I don't know. It's supposed to be good for your dog's teeth, but this is for you. You can chew on this and it will help your teeth. Okay. Maybe we'll put some doggy tooth toothpaste on it. I don't know. Obviously I had to pick up these pastel little balls. Look at how cute they are. I just love anything like cute and girly for a little Miss Winnis. I love that I have a daughter. Um, And they have the, just the tiny little tennis balls that are absolutely so cute. They say pets it on it. Pets it. So cute. Ready? Let's see. Let's watch this girl go. Ready? Set. Go! It's bouncing all over my kitchen. You can never have enough of these balls, especially because um, they tend to disappear because they're so tiny. So they'll roll under my couch and yeah. So got a pack of five of them. Cannot go wrong. So for new pet owners, this is just something that I absolutely live for. I love a package of the necessities. So this literally came with obviously the dog leash, retractable, very cute, pink, girly. Came with a clip on dog bowl that extends and is so sturdy. I've had silicone ones that hardly even stay up. Like the dogs usually step on them and they collapse, but this one's actually so nice and sturdy. So nice. Wait, what? Oh my God, sorry, I just opened up this and now I'm never getting rid of it. And then it also came with the little dog poopy bag things and you can literally clip both of these onto this and you have everything you need. This, could you imagine? Oh my goodness. This is a little towel for when Miss Wena gets out of the bath and look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh my goodness. Now look at the camera. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's a little. Her nose is stuck. Could you imagine little Miss Winnie coming out of the bath? This is her little towel. It has a ducky on there and it's a little microfiber cloth. And you could clip it too. So if there's still a little wet running around the house, you could pin it together right here. Oh my goodness. I love her. So yeah, that she is gonna hate, but I'm going to love because she doesn't like baths but whatever. She's a dirty girl, just like her mommy. This, it is marketed as the world's best pet hair remover. And honestly, these things are incredible. I really don't understand the science, but it's just the way that they get rid of every ounce of hair off of like literally anything. But look, it's a little cute little guy and you just literally like push it against fabrics. Oh my God. Like why did that just clean my couch? Um, wow. Okay, if you own a pet, any kind of pet, absolutely pick this up. This is the world's best pet hair remover. It is, does in fact work. And it's just infinitely reusable. 
Wow, okay, should've bought that a long time ago. All right, so last but not least, I guess, um, I think this is the last thing. I got Winessa a little snuffle mat. These are really important for dogs like Winnie. She does have anxiety, just like me. We have ex separation anxiety from each other, unfortunately. So it's something that, you know, we're working on. And that's why I got the little training pouch to be training her to, you know, like get in her own space and do her own thing. But these snuffle mats are really good. You literally just like hide treats all around them. They have like different little pockets that you can fill up and then, you you know sometimes when you're like leaving the house when you gotta leave you fill up one of these mats before you leave you put it down and you know the dog's like distracted and then you leave and then they're just they're like gonna be in this mat for like 30 minutes unless you know they're really smart then yeah there's different ones on the website but i just thought this one was cute and like kind of like advanced so yeah i got her this cute little snuffle mat so i guess that's the end of our haul i know that was kind of a lot absolutely a lot but i just i couldn't stop i was really excited with the whole pet line and obviously the clothing so thank you guys for watching today's video um leave me a comment letting me know what videos you guys want to see next i had a lot of fun filming this and i hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it and definitely shop the black friday sale on shein i'll put a link down in the description for you guys use my code ashley15 for an extra 15 percent off you're welcome don't forget to shop petson they have all types of products doggies cats lizards i don't know they have everything for all the pets pretty sure i only look for dog stuff but i did see other pets in there they have all types of things it's actually insane thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys